Hey guys, so today the universe decided to give me a freebie. If you guys remember in my last video, I talked a lot about different shows, and one of those shows that I talked about was My Hero Academia. And thank goodness my phone listens to me even when I think it's not, because literally the next morning when I woke up, I looked on the news page for like, you know, the Google news page or whatever, and one of the articles that popped up was the five most misused quirks in My Hero Academia. <laughs> so today I'm just going to be looking at this article, seeing if I agree with these top five misused quirks, and see if I can think of any other quirks that are greatly misused in this show. Number five is Kuroguri, and this article says that he should be using his quirk to create free renewable energy. Kurogari is the Black Mist supervillain. Uh, his quirk is Warp Gate, the ability to create actual portal-like portals that he uses to chauffeur the League of Villains and break up bar fights. This article says that he should open two portals, one above another, throw in heavy objects inside which fall endlessly, and then devise a way to hook a, a dynamo or something to it and bam. You have free power that would make Kirigari a billionaire overnight and a hero to the entire planet. That part I actually like that I was just reading. That isn't me paraphrasing or summarizing, that's exactly what they said. They also say even if Kirigari only cares about taking down All Might, it would be much easier to do it if he had a liberal amount of money and the public goodwill on his side. As is, using his overpowered quirk to transport other villains is like using Fast and Light Travel to be the first in line for a Backstreet Boys concert. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Okay, um, I guess th there's, there's some merit there. I'll give him that. Next we have Koji Koda, who could apparently help feed billions of people. Uh, Koji is a resident of Class 1A with the power to control any creature in the animal kingdom. This would logically also include spiders, meaning that Koji could literally end all street crime in like 5 minutes tops by swallowing all the criminals up in a giant arachno tsunami. No excuses, but you see Koji is just too shy and nice to be an effective hero. I mean, I guess, he does have a nicer side, he, he isn't one of the aggressive ones, he's actually one of the people that we know the least about until like season 3 is when we really start like getting to know anything about him. He wants to do good, but he just doesn't have that fighter instinct in him. Which is why he should instead use his quirk to revolutionize agriculture all around the world. Uh, they say give him a megaphone and fly him over American fields, telling feral pigs to stop causing 1.5 billion dollars worth of damage a year in destroyed crops. Uh, fly him to Australia to tell the invasive king toads and rabbits to kindly uh, to kindly lemme themselves off a cliff, and have him tell the aggressive lionfish get the out of the Atlantic. Force him to get over his fear of bugs and make agricultural pests a thing of the past. If Koji was utilized properly, he could travel around the world undoing mankind's mistakes and creating organic pesticide-free crops, instead of doing what he does now, which is largely sitting around on his role-playing Snow White. I can agree with that. He could be helpful. Inko Midoriya would apparently be a great nurse. Uh, Izuku's mother in My Hero Academia has mainly done two things so far. Jack and squat. Okay. <laughs> but that, that, that is pretty true. He also says he realizes that becoming a nurse takes a lot of work and dedication, but Inko would be a great natural fit for it. Despite her initial shortcomings, she's a very caring person with loads of empathy. She also has the power of limited telekinesis. You know, that's very easy to forget about. I think she only uses it once, and that's a flashback to when Izuku was a child. Inko can move small objects over short distances, and while that would not be helpful for stopping crime, it would be great for, say, removing kidney stones, or things stuck in people thro people's throats, or coins from small children's stomachs. Not only would it save any hospital god knows how much money on gloves, Inko would be doing something worthwhile with her life and making a real difference. But staying at home alone while Izuku lives it up in his dorm is just as fulfilling, I'm sure. Uraka should go work for a shipping company. I mean, this one makes sense. Um, Uraka has one of the most well-rounded quirks of all the main characters, zero gravity. 
With it, she can make objects and people float, which is great for offense, defense, and rescue operations. As a superheroine, she is doing everything right with her quirk. I just think Araka should never have become a superhero in the first place. Um, she has been asked about her motivation, which, like, she wants money. I talked about this, I think, right? Maybe I did. She wants money for uh, to her parents so that they can live the life that they deserve. But regular jobs also exist in this world, and that must include shipping companies that would instantly hire Araka to zero G their fre freighters, trucks, and planes. Even if she cannot make them float, she can still remove enough gravity from them to save the company tons of fuel. The notion of saving even 1% on fuel costs would be game changing for them. And she could probably collect a big check. Yep, I, I would agree with that. That's pretty good. And then the number one, obviously, Momo could solve literally all the world's problems. Momo's motivation, she is supposed to be a genius. As such, she would know she's wasting her quirk on superheroics when she should be instead saving the world, like, economically. She's the one who can create things out of her skin, like out of the lipids in her body. Momo can apparently create anything as long as she understands its composition. Make some helium then. The world is running out of gas and we need it for MRI scanners and the like. Momo could create more of it. Or thorium. She could make thorium that we could use to make thorium based reactors that are apparently way safer than uranium ones. Uh, she could create medicine, fresh water, cheap electronics so they can ship to developing countries. Uh, Momo could crank out all of these in an afternoon, an hour sitting in a room and filling buckets after buckets with free insulin would do more good for the planet than defeating 10 leagues of villains. While spending your life as a walking everything faucet may not seem that glamorous, it actually has the potential to change the entire planet for the better. Those are the top 5. I, I have to agree with them. They are actually really good. He made some really good points. Um, I am the type of person who also thinks outside of a storyline, thinks of how else people could use their abilities to help people and just outside of the superhero realm. So I actually really got, enjoyed that article. I'll link it down below because obviously I was paraphrasing a lot. But if you like this video, don't forget to actually like it. Comment down below. What are some other quirks that you think are misused in the show or could be used better? One quirk that comes to mind for me is the nurse quirk recovery girl, her healing ability. Yeah, she is using it as superhero school. And so like she's partially utilizing it. But if she went more mainstream instead of focusing just on the school, do you know how much money the hospitals could save by having someone who could heal them. And like, I realize that only accelerates the body's natural healing process, but she's saved Izuku's life more times than I can count. So I'm pretty sure that a regular injury, like, I don't know, a sprained ankle, or like, a broken arm, or maybe if it's just like, I don't know, a splintering headache or something like that, uh, she, she'd probably be able to do that. She could also probably solve a lot of bigger problems, like she could probably reverse or at least prevent cancer. Uh, she could probably fix uh, ruptured like appendixes, or she might be able to cure some major diseases like diabetes, since that is technically the body failing and not doing its job. It'd be kind of weird, you'd have to go into exactly what she could do, but like if she went more mainstream, I think that would be a much better use of a quirk than just being the nurse at a superhero school. Comment down other quirks that you think are misused. Share this video with your friends that know My Hero Academia. If they don't know My Hero Academia, tell them about it because a new season comes out in October and I cannot wait. I'm so ready for it. Did I say subscribe? If I didn't, subscribe. This is good content. That was a fun video and I had a lot of fun making it. Um, all my social media is right here. You can follow me. I'm pretty cool. I try to post regularly and I'm successful-ish. Uh, but I think that's all I need, guys, so let's have some fun and smile, because thinking of how we could use superpowers in the real world to help people is just so amazing. Just all around.